Hello, you two. Yet another power supply. This is an Ultra LSP 550. And it puts out 550 watts, as you might well imagine. I bought this power supply new from CompUSA when they still were selling these. They are using a different manufacturer now that I believe is Diablo Tech. These are manufactured by somebody else. I can't quite remember who, but I know somebody commented on a video with who they were manufactured by, so I'll give you the specs. 32 amps on the 5 volt rail, 22 amps on the 3.3, 30 amps on the single 12 volt rail it has, 0.6 on the minus 12, and 2 amps on the plus 5 volt standby rail. So as you can see it has a rather big fan in the bottom, so it means business. So let's have a look inside here, shall we? Uh, I can see it does have a, an X capacitor, but no Y capacitors, which is good to see. The board looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, uh, here is the voltage selector switch, which seems to go into the board there. Then the mains go in, goes into there. I don't know what this is. I think that's a capacitor. But it appears that there are MOVs in here, which is good. There are some MOVs right there. Uh, so it goes down into here, in through whatever the hell that thing is. It's either a capacitor or something else. It looks like a capacitor to me. When it goes through these MOVs, that capacitor, then to that coil, then to this capacitor, to that coil, to these Y capacitors here, and through a bridge rectifier module through those resistors. There's places they could have put caps on here but they didn't probably because there wasn't enough room but then they have two big filter caps here these are... let's see what are these these are 820 microfarad 200 volt capacitors and they're TPO caps there are TPO capacitors in brand new power supply still yep um, and of course that's the input side. The input side looks fairly decent. The only thing I wish they had were those two other Y capacitors they usually put on the plugs, but you can add those for like, I don't know, 10 cents or whatever. That's not a big deal because it has MOVs, it has so much fil it has good enough filtering already. I mean, these chokes could have been bigger, but they're good enough. Um, it's got a pretty good sized transformer. That looks good to me. Uh, this is something I don't see a lot. I actually see a choke sticking out by the transformers. Which I'm sure you can see very clearly too. Uh, the heat sinks look great. Look at them. They're nice and big. Thinned out very well. Uh, the output chokes are fairly small, but not that small. Um, there are different brand caps in here. What are these? Jun Fu. <laughs> Jun Fu. Ah. Uh, it just sounds Chinese. It's, that sounds Korean to me, actually. I don't know. Uh, but either way, it seems that they put fairly cheap capacitors in here, but they're doing fine so far. I haven't had this. I think I've had this thing for about a year. So, you know, there shouldn't be much wear on it. It does have a controller chip down there. That's good. Uh, and it looks like a high to be a high-quality one, too. Nice. And the fan is unpluggable. Very nice. So, this is a newer power supply compared with the uh, older ones I've opened up. As you can see, they've skimped down on quality a little bit as far as new ones go. This is a $50 power supply. And for 50 bucks, it's good. It's real good, in my opinion. Um, unfortunately, they don't sell these on CompuSA anymore, which is a shame. They use Diablo Tech as a manufacturer now. At least, that's what the case, at least according to the cases, that's what it looks like. Don't quote me on that, though. But yes, TPO capacitors. It seems that in the capac it's, or in the uh, power supplies that are filtered very well, they put kind of crap. They put a kind of crappy caps in there. But I don't know if these TPOs are bad. I don't know if TPOs are still uh, considered crap caps and not that they stopped using that formula. But it appears that this is working fine. So yeah, the fan has a lot of blades on it. 
and uh, I don't know if it's ball bearing or not, but it probably is. This is either ball bearing or sleeve bearing, one of the two. It's pro I'm, I I kind of guess it's sleeve bearing, but it's a big fan, so it shouldn't wear out very fast anyway. This looks like a 120 millimeter or even a 140 millimeter fan. It's rather large. Here's a 120 millimeter fan. Yeah, this is a 140. Here's a 120 millimeter fan on top of it, and it actually is a little bit, a little bit bigger than that. So they put 140 millimeter fans in these power supplies. That's pretty good, <laughs> if you ask me. But yes, tons of connections. This is going to be going into. Uh, if you saw the video of my Diablo Tech power supply, that board and those components, that's where this power, that's what this power supply is going to be powering now. Once I move it to another case. But I thought I'd look in here just to see what kind of quality these things are, because I have a couple of these, and they they seem to be decent. They seem good enough to get the job done. I mean, they're not overbuilt. They're built well enough to work just as they should. That's what I'd say they are. They're 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 exactly what you pay for. Just a working good power supply. So other than that, um, that's the Ultra LSP 550. Look inside of it. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.